What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all's good wherever you are. In this video, we're going to watch Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire. This was done at a Young America Foundation and he is debating a trans activist on, of course, gender ideology. Let's get into it. How would you define a woman? Because you've asked other uh, people up here to define how we would define a woman. How would you define a woman, Mr. Walsh? Uh, an adult human female. And how don't trans people, how doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? Female. Because they're not, they're not female. They, they, they have, they have, you said that you are a biological male, correct? I said I'm transgender. Um, I might be intersex for all we know. About uh, almost as many people the in the world are transgender as intersex, and well, a lot of people don't know. Well, but that's a different conversation. Intersex, that's a genetic anomaly, that's a medical condition. So let, that's a completely different conversation. That's also not a, that's not a third gender. That's just a, that's a genetic anomaly that occurs within the sex binary of male and female. Um, a, so you, what you're saying is that a quote-unquote trans woman is a female? By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. So how would you define female? Through my training in healthcare, there are several different categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. People bring up all sorts of other categories. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. It, it's not complicated, but you also didn't, you also didn't define. So what is, what is a woman? What is a female? What, are, what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there are no simple answers in human biology. Let me ask you a question. You guys, well, you hang question. on. I, just let me finish. You guys like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I get that a lot. But people who go on to more complicated biology classes will talk about s sex as a spectrum. It's not. It's not. Well, biological researchers would disagree with you. Well, and they're full of sh the ones that would say that. There's, look. There's a couple of things that this person mentioned. And also, guys, if you like these video, please consider subscribing. Leave a thumbs up. It would re really help your boy out here. Two things that she mentioned. One, she mentions high school biology class. You guys like to bring up high school biology class. Well, yeah, by the time you were in high school, you should be able to define male and female. We're not talking about the latest paper on thermodynamics here. We're talking about very basic biology that most small children can tell you at the age of four. So it's not supposed to be complex. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be basic biology, male gametes, female gametes. Now, she also says that, you know, people are not all the same, and that's fine. Look, it's normal for men and women or young men and young women to not feel comfortable in their bodies. Like, how many times did that happen in the world? Like, teenagers, most of them at some point go through something of the sorts, but that doesn't change the fact that you have either male reproductive organs or female reproductive organs. We're not the same. Males have 20% more muscle mass. 40% more upper body strength, 30% more lower body strength, longer legs, bigger lungs, bigger heart, higher capacity to produce oxygen. So it's not just chromosomes and hormones. It's like a hundred things and it's normal to not feel comfortable in your body at some point. That's fine. That happens. And a lot of what these people talk about is, is people's personalities, how you are. Are you more eccentric? Are you more effeminate? Do you have higher estrogen, lower testosterone than some people? That's fine. That happens. A lot of those people tend to turn out to be gay. And again, that's fine, but it doesn't change the actual truth of the matter that there are only male and female humans. Let's get back to it. There are... All right. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, I had one, I had one last question. I, I just have one, I have one quick... Can, we, can, we, can you come back for one second? Because this is an important question. You said you're an EMT. Yes. Okay, if you're responding... You're responding to a health emergency. Biological male, somebody with a penis, is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, 
I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you, would you check yeah. them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? Look. <laughs> no, but that's because some people don't have body parts. Doesn't mean they're not a woman. Okay. Sounds like we've established there are some people who in principle can get pregnant and there are some people who can't. So there's two categories, otherwise known as binary. Lots of women can't get pregnant either. Yeah, but they're still of the nature to get pregnant. The only but reason- But they can't get pregnant. Yes, but Truth they... matters, right? It, it does, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Truth matters and they can't okay. get pregnant, I... that's the truth, so how are they still women? Because they are, for, for, this, for the same reason, for the, for the same reason that, I, that I can rightly say that human beings have two legs. And if a person is born with only one leg, that doesn't call into question the statement that human beings have two legs, okay? A person being born with one leg doesn't mean that now legs are on a spectrum and we can't say, <laughs> We can't say anything at all about how many legs a person has. Who knows? They could, have, they could be a centipede. You know, they could, have a, they could have a hundred legs. No, we know human beings have two legs. If a human is born without two legs, something went wrong. They were supposed to have that second leg. Something went wrong. If you, if you, if you meet a person on the street who only has one leg, maybe, maybe they had an accident. Maybe they were in war. Maybe, maybe, some, you know, maybe they were in a car accident. Maybe they had cancer. A leg was cut off but you know that something went wrong because of the, by their nature, they're supposed to have two legs. Same thing for a woman. A woman by her nature can get pregnant. A man by his nature never can. So if you meet a woman of childbearing age, say she's 28 years old and she can't get pregnant, you know automatically that something has gone wrong and she can go to the doctor and find out what that thing is, even if they can't fix it. So that proves that women by their nature can get pregnant because the simple fact that she can't shows you that there is something Wrong. This is what is known as the exception that proves the rule. Whereas if a male with a penis can't get pregnant, no doctor on earth is going to run tests to see what's wrong with him. Because they already know it's that he's a male and there's only male and female, those who can get pregnant and those who can't. So, right, that's it. That's... The fact that this person's an EMT is what? Like, that's crazy that this person's an EMT and they have to ask this question. And also the fact that when this person said, well, Matt, what do you think a woman is? And he said, an adult human female. And that is their correct answer. But everybody cheered. Now, the fact that people have to cheer for this, like it's a big win, shows you that we went wrong somewhere in our society. Like, the woke left has gone too far. If we have to cheer the most rudimentary biology that we know of, what we've known for thousands and thousands of years. But... I will say one thing for this person, props to this person for getting up and asking the question and the crowd was for the most part respectful because at a pro-conservative event, if you're a liberal, especially if you are wrong, it's not easy to ask these questions and uh, she was respectful and she didn't call Matt names or anything like a lot of them do, so uh, props to her for that. Other than that, great video. Uh, I think these times that we're living in right now, uh, this is one of the bigger issues, and the, the culture war on, on gender ideology is, uh, is a big one for me. It's one that I'm passionate about. I hate seeing what's happening to small children in schools, the changing of language, the laws, the pronoun use that are so soon going to probably be mandatory in many places, ladies losing their spaces. Um, yeah, I'm against it. I have nothing against the trans community, but I have to speak for the truth. It's something that I firmly believe in. Men cannot just wake up and all of a sudden think that they're women. And no man in the world knows what it's like to feel like a woman. The same way no woman in the world knows what it's like to feel like a man. So to say that I'm a woman because I feel like a woman is nonsense. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe, thumbs up, like the video, all that good stuff. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.